Hi guys. It is getting to be a pretty nice day. Here in the end times in the former paradise of South Austin, Texas. Hallelujah. Praise Mother Earth, Jesus, God, and Allah. We have made it to Saturday, December 31st, 2016. Jesus, if I have ever been ready to put a year into the trash can, it would be, it would be today. So, being Saturday morning, before I head off to my uh, latest New Year's Eve melee, I think I'm going to wear my brand new $1 thrift store Tommy Hilfiger shirt uh, <laughs> to the New Year's Eve parties. But before the party begins, I'm going to do what I do every Saturday. And that's to bring you my clueless moron roundup rant, where I simply go on the pages of the mainstream media to see how this planet's collective IQ is heading directly into the toilet. Good God, guys. I had 30 stories here today. I'm not going to be able to get to all of them. Let me just dive right in to the final clueless moron roundup rant of 2016 and we're going to start uh, with our old friends our old friend uh, who I haven't ranted enough about this guy Steve Bannon who is of course Donald Trump's chief strategist there you go Bannon hobbits and deplorables helped Trump win Yes, there you go. Uh, Stephen Bannon told uh, the media that Trump won thanks in part to, quote, hobbits and deplorables. There you go. Um, the hobbits, or the, de this is a quote, a direct quote from Donald Trump's chief strategist if you think this is uh, if you think this is Chris Hedges no this is Donald Trump's chief strategist looking at over why uh, Donald Trump won the election although of course he didn't win anyway quote the hobbits or the deplorables had a great run in 2016 everybody mocked them and ridiculed them and now they have spoken. I think 2017 is going to be a very exciting year. Yes, uh, speaking of, uh, I guess, 2016 and 2017, quote, I think we've lived through an historic time. I think we will talk about what happened this year politically for many, many decades to come. Yes, we will. And uh, don't worry, uh, Humpty Dumpty Tribe will be on full rant mode. Many stories about this uh, Trump fans deplorable party shows rift in alt-right movement. What, did you get? My little clueless moron dog has gotten himself wrapped around something or the other. Yes, uh, so I guess all of these, uh, the, these, these deplorable Trump supporters uh, were planning some big-ass right-wing orgy on Inauguration Day, uh, but they're getting in a pissing match. Damn. Uh, supporters of U.S. President-elect Donald Trump have appropriated the phrase uh, basket of deplorables used by Hillary Clinton during her campaign to pillory some of his backers to plan an inauguration party called the Deplorable 
that while the intention might be to mock the defeated Democratic candidate, the planned gathering has revealed a deep schism within the ranks of a movement known as the alt-right. Yes, okay, so we don't know how the deplorable is going to go off on Inauguration Day. Uh, if there ever is an Inauguration Day, of course, as uh, we see many versions of this story, Charlie Sheen blasts media reaction to his prayer that Donald Trump be the next 2016 fatality. So, uh, this is our old buddy Charlie Sheen on uh, Twitter, I guess. Dear God, Trump next, please. 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 There you go. I, and you wonder why Charlie Sheen has disappeared from the Alex Jones channel. Okay, from Charlie Sheen to the city of Chicago, Christmas weekend sees deadly spike in Chicago shootings. What are you growling about, little dog? My little dog is on full alert. Police in Chicago said Monday they were investigating 27 shootings, 12 of them fatal, that occurred on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. A remarkable spasm of violence in Chicago in what already has been a historically bloody year. There you go. Uh, and we will see how the uh, how all that plays out today as I'm sure blood is being splattered all over Chicago and the vast majority of this shit for anybody not understanding this is gang members shooting gang members. It's of course uh, just all the innocent people uh, just in the, you know, in the, just in the line of fire as uh, the, these goddamn gangs, uh, these clueless fucking morons who need to be rounded up and uh, they need just to be rounded up and, and I'll have to make that a whole nother rant. I anyway, next, okay, but, uh, Anybody who thinks all of this gang violence is, uh, is limited to the ghettos of Chicago, uh, and this story is one of many uh, all over the country, mall fights send post-holiday shoppers scrambling for the exits. Yes, they did. Fights broke out at malls around the country Monday night the day after Christmas, sending shoppers who were looking for post-holiday deals <laughs> scrambling for the exits. And, uh, good God, this is, this, you know, this is all over. Uh, in, in malls all over this country. Uh, and then it kept going the next night. Uh, anyway... From the malls of America, but if uh, if if Amazon gets its way, we won't have to worry about clueless fucking morons uh, at malls getting into gang wars and uh, innocent clueless fucking moron shoppers uh, scrambling for the exits because Amazon is just going to put malls out of business and here is their and here's the way they're going to do it Amazon to airdrop packages from floating blimp warehouses question mark 
indicative of a of a novel futuristic approach amazon is working to create giant blimped shaped warehouses that would fly at 45,000 feet 45,000 feet how many miles this is like 8 miles 8 miles high uh, and use guided unmanned aerial vehicles otherwise known as drones to deliver products with precision according to a patent filed by the company uh, according to the plans uh, the, the, these giant blimps would employ drones that behave much like guided bombs to deliver products to consumers quote using gravity to propel them downward at an angle using hardly any energy adjusting course with just minor aerodynamic shifts okay from giant floating blimp warehouses sending bombs of drones all over America what is going on is this down in Mexico or uh, yeah thousands descend on girls Quinceanera after her parents posted video inviting everyone the Quinceanera you know this is when Mexican girls uh, hit age 15 the big party in case you don't know what a Quinceanera is when Ruby Ibarra Garcia's parents hosted a video inviting guests to attend her Quinceanera they never could have get predicted just how many people would accept the invitation but on Monday thousands of strangers descended uh, on a ranch near La Jolla Mexico to celebrate the girls 15th birthday Ruby dressed in a fuchsia gown and a sparkling tiara was swarmed by guests as she made her way to a mass held as part of the coming of age celebration and by the time the cloud left I guess there was only one actual death in a stampede at some point during the party I don't know how many injuries one person dead uh, party on but uh, we don't need to limit New Year's Eve parties to planet Earth for much longer as we see NASA designs ice domes for astronauts on Mars life on Mars meaning human uh, life on Mars there could be if NASA's Langley Research Center proposal for donut shaped ice houses on the red planet goes ahead Yes, the Mars Ice Home consists of an inflatable inner tube lined with a shell of ice to protect against radiation in Mars extreme weather conditions. Uh, I, I would suggest to Mars that they go look at the Fukushima ice wall and see how well that idea worked out. Uh, however, the concept is not entirely problem-free as it is estimated that it would take over a year to fill a dome with Martian water. Okay, from uh, the planet Mars to, I guess this is anywhere, uh, anywhere in the solar system the headline says it all gene modification could wipe out geniuses 
something's wiped out the geniuses on this planet. Uh, gene modification could wipe out geniuses. Uh, you, you know, if, if, if anyone does not uh, understand the in, the unintended, sick, twisted humor of that headline. Okay, many versions of this. Uh, this is just one story. Russian men recorded themselves torturing and killing a bear. A video showing workers repeatedly driving over a bear in the Siberian tundra has attracted the attention of Russian investigators who said they are taking a look at the video to, to determine if animal cruelty charges may be relevant. The video, which you can see all over YouTube, shows men in giant off-road vehicles driving over a bear sitting in the snow. At least one of the men yelled in Russian, squash him, squash him. The bear repeatedly attempted to get up but was run over again and again by the massive wheels of the truck. You know, eventually uh, just, uh, you know, killing it. And I will agree with, with most of the, uh, the, the people commenting that I, 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 if ever I hoped for a bear to sit there and disembowel uh, two clueless fucking morons, it would be these two motherfuckers. They deserve every single... Uh, whatever the, the karma has for them from being disemboweled by a bear to roasting for hell in eternity uh, gets my vote. Okay, good lord, moving on. As I say, I've got 30 stories here. Don't think I'll make it to the end. Underage girls trapped in Pakistan bride exchanges. I'm, this is, I'm just going to read the story. <clears throat> Muhammad Ramzan can neither hear nor speak, and he has a childlike mind, but even he knew his wife, Saima, was too young when she was given to him as a bride. The 36-year-old Muhammad smiles, eager to please, as he uses his fingers to count out her age when they were married, one, two, three, until 13. I, I guess he has 13 fingers. And then he stops and looks at her, points and nods several times. Well, the girl's father, Wazir Ahmed, says his daughter is 14, not 13, but her age was beside the point. It mattered only that she had reached puberty when he arranged his daughter's marriage as an exchange. His daughter, for Ramzan's sister, whom he wanted to take as a second wife. She would be a bride in exchange for a bride. Quoting the father, we gave a girl from this family for a girl in their family. That is our right. From Pakistan to Indonesia, Indonesian pilot fired after slurred cockpit announcement. An Indonesian pilot who stumbled through airport security and repeatedly dropped his belongings before making a slurred announcement to his 154 passengers from the cockpit has been fired. Do you think so? YouTube videos show 32-year-old pilot Tikad Perna staggering through a metal detector at airport security and dropping his bag and belongings several times 
after arriving late for his flight on Wednesday. Uh, so, the flight took off later with a new pilot, but several of the passengers decided to cancel their flights. Do you think so? From Indonesia to Washington State, Governor Governor grants reprieve in child killer's death sentence. Governor James Inslee granted a reprieve Thursday to a man sentenced to death for the rape and murder of a 14-year-old girl. This Inslee formally granted the reprieve to Clark Elmore. Elmore of Bellingham killed his girlfriend's daughter, Christy Olmsted, in a van south of Bellingham in 1995. He raped her, choked her, drove a metal skewer through her skull, beat her, and dumped her body in the woods. Elmore pleaded guilty as charged to aggravated first-degree murder. And the good citizens of Washington so far... 1995 have been paying uh, for three hots and a cot for this motherfucker for 21 years and now the clueless fucking moron governor of Washington State sees no reason why th this man uh, deserves to die. But uh, good old Kim Jong-un over there, and uh, our, our little clueless moron uh, from North Korea apparently has decided hundreds, hundreds of his military underlings have uh, deserved to die. So, after killing hundreds of his own staff, we now see Kim Jong Un bans Christmas makes North Korea worship his grandma. Kim Jong-un is the Grinch who stole Christmas. North Korea's tubby tyrant wants the few Christians in the hermit state to spread cheer only to celebrate the birth of his grandma, Kim Jong-suk, not the birth of Jesus. Uh, oh shit, where is the story on the birth of Jesus? Uh, oh no, did I? Pastor, Mary, not a virgin, when she gave birth to Jesus. Yes. One of the nation's most prominent preachers said the Virgin Mary may not have been a virgin when she gave birth to Jesus Christ. Yes. Uh, the Reverend Andy Stanley, this from one of these redneck churches in Georgia, has sparked a national debate over Jesus' birth after a speech earlier this month. I'm glad to see these clueless moron redneck preachers in Georgia uh, stirring a national debate by uh, claiming that uh, Joseph was not quite the cuckold, that God was not a Sancho. Yes, uh, it's good to know that God is not a Sancho. If anybody does not know what a Sancho is, a Sancho is the guy that makes a cuckold out of you. He is the guy fucking your wife. Yes. Anyway, so according to this, God is not a Sancho. All right. Uh, where was this one? Maybe it was this one uh, right here. In, no, this is in Alabama from Georgia next door to Alabama. After dead birds arrive in mail, woman gets living canaries. 
the carnage of broken wings and dead canaries <coughs> that arrived in an Alabama's woman's, Alabama woman's mail have been replaced by the cheerful chirps and tweets of brand new live birds. The U.S. Postal Service paid for the seven new canaries plus the postage needed to send them to Rhonda King. Yes, King was crestfallen earlier this month when she received in the mail a half dozen dead canaries in a package marked with tire tracks. When, uh, when asked whether she would use the Postal Service again, King paused for a brief moment and then said, I would. I really would. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, from Alabama to Wisconsin, University of Wisconsin defends the problem of whiteness course. A new course titled The Problem of Whiteness to be taught at the University of Wisconsin at Madison has generated controversy after a Republican state legislator uh, dubbed it garbage. Do you think so? Uh, created by Assistant Professor Dan Damon Sajnani in the African Studies Department, the course will explore how white people, quote, consciously and unconsciously perpetuate in institutional racism and how this not only devastates communities of color, but also perpetuates the oppression, the oppression of most white folks along the lines of class and gender. I could not find in this story whether there was also going to be another course called the problem of blackness, the problem of brownness, the problem of yellowness. It is the problem of humanness that we need to be teaching college courses on this planet. The problem of humanness. Okay, from Wisconsin to California, 21 people rescued from California ride stuck 100 feet high. Firefighters using ropes and harnesses safely lowered 21 people from an amusement park ride stuck 100 feet in the air for more than six hours at Southern California's Knott's Berry Farm. Uh, the tourists and fun seekers on the ride are most likely hungry, claustrophobic, and badly in need of a bathroom, but Orange County Fire authorities and park officials both said they are not in danger. Okay, I could do an entire rant on this headline. Twelve powerful pop culture moments that prove 2016 wasn't all bad. 2016, the year that gave us Lemonade and Lynn Manuel Miranda. Dee 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 dee. Here is. A man waited 416 days to see what happened when his iPod stopwatch passed 9,999 hours. Spoiler alert, it ticked over to 10,000 hours. La -da -da. I think this headline says it all. Girl who was not allowed to have a horse learns how to ride a cow instead. There you go. Uh, I think she enjoys it. She loves going to new places. 
like up the road, hills and creeks. Simpson says she has tried to ride other cows, but I've only had one other who could jump. Yes. Uh... Simpson would not necessarily advise other people to try riding cows. You could try if you have a semi-friendly cow, she suggested. Okay, from where was that redneck? Uh, oh, this is New Zealand. I didn't realize they had rednecks in New Zealand. Okay, I got a big laugh out of this one. Where was this? Uh, North Carolina. Whitby burglar gets firewood to the face after forcing open ex-girlfriend's door. An accused would-be burglar emerged with cuts, scrapes, and two black eyes after he was bashed in the face by a piece of firewood uh, in the North Carolina home of his uh, former girlfriend he was trying to break into. Unfortunately, uh, I can't show you a picture of this guy's mugshot. Uh, absolutely classic mugshot that unfortunately has fallen off my computer. What have I got? I have got two more. Six-year-old unlocks sleeping mom's phone with her thumb, racks up $250 Amazon bill. But uh, I'm going to wrap up uh, I, my final 2016 Clueless Moron Roundup rant with this headline from the Mother Nature Network. I love it when they ask a question uh, in a headline, and I cannot think of a better question to ask on the Mother News, on the Mother Nature Network News, than the question at on. December 31st, 2016. Are you hallucinating right now? You might be, and it does not mean there is something wrong with you. Uh, there you go. I think that is the perfect place to wind up my final Clueless Moron Roundup rant for 2016, but I'm actually going to come back at you. I was going to wind up with this story, but I'm going to make it its own separate rant for my final rant of 2016. I will be coming back at you to read the, the perhaps the single biggest clueless fucking moron story I have encountered in the entire year titled Living Through the Death of of capitalism, but we will be back for the final rant of 2016, I think, although there's still about another eight hours left to come up with yet another one, but for this year's final Clueless Moron Roundup rant, smoke them if you got them, guys. We are so fucked. Bye, guys.